guys, let's take a look at this uh, three-phase motor starter that I have here. It's an IEC rated motor starter. Uh, right here on top, I have my coil with my A1 and my A2, meaning that uh, that is the, the coil that's going to energize this starter. If I send uh, for this one 120 volts, a hot and a neutral to that coil, it will, just like we said with the control relay, it will energize the coil and pull it in. Well, several things happens on this motor starter when that happens. When it pulls in, when it pulls in, you see right here on the top, I have number one. Number one goes out to number two. And number one is L1 and number two is T1. And what that is right there, that's that's a, an open contact sitting there in between that L1 and that T1. And I take the power of line one and put it on there and separate it from going to the motor by that open contact that's in between it going to T1. Then rinse and repeat. I take line two and put the power on top of an open contact on line two and it goes out to the motor on T2. Then over here, we come over here and rinse and repeat again. We have line three that comes in and line three goes out on T3. And what happens is when the lines come in, L1, L2, and L3, when they go through those open contacts, when we close them and send power to the motor, that power goes out through this set of overloads and through the T1, 2, 3 right there on the black, red, blue, power goes out to the motor. So this is what happens. We take the three-phase power from the motor and we put it on line one, line two, line three. We take the three leads from the motor and we put them on T1, T2, T3. So L1, 2, and 3 is the line and power coming in. T1, 2, and 3 is where we're uh, leaving from the starter to the motor, where we're making connections to the motor that's there. We have on here some things that I want to look at also. An auxiliary set of contacts. And what that means is that's a set of contacts that's been added. And right here you see that we have a, a, a 3 going out to a 4, normally open contact. And then on top of it, because it's a dual contact, it has a 1 going out to a 2, normally closed contact. And what we do with those, since it's auxiliary added, that means that this motor started to look just like this on the other side before we before we clip those on and without one on there when this coil moves it has this little lever right there that catches and and moves back and forth well there's one inside this contact block that's catching that that hole on this side and when the when the contactor is energized it makes these contacts change from their normal state this normally closed right here normally open right here closes when this goes in and it's normally closed on the back, opens when it goes in. That means with this motor starter sitting right here without even thinking about the motor, if I took a hot wire and I went to the normally closed and come off the normally closed and went to a red light and put, a, put that on, hot on that red light in a neutral, that light would be on and this would make it go off. Same thing on the normally open. If I put a hot on there and, and went off of here, let's say to a green light, it would not be on because this is normally open. And when we energize that coil by sending power to A1 and A2 on the top, that closes that contact and that would make the green light come on. And if I had a red light on this one, that would make the red light go off. Well, I use that to tell me the, the status of the motor that's there. When, it's, when this coil is kicked out and not pulled in, that normally closed contact is going to send power to the red light. The normally open contact is not going to send power to the green light. Then when I send power to that coil that's in there, that's going to pull in send the three-phase power to the motor, but also change any of the contacts that's on this, this motor starter that's with it. Okay, so that's our IEC three-phase motor starter. We're going to use this motor starter in the first project that we do, moving on from our symbols. Uh, we're going to do a three-wire start-stop with a red and green indicator light to let us know the status of the motor, and this is what we'll be using.